Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll be building a freelance CRM to help you manage and track your professional relationships in Notion. This will be a simple build with only two databases, that is contacts and companies. We'll create this pipeline view to track and manage our clients and also a table view to see the details of our contacts. Similarly, a table view for the companies. So let's get started. When creating a new database, it's best to start with a table view so we can see and edit all the properties. So the first database will be contacts. Let's put it to the full view so that we can see more properties. So the first property will be used to track the status or the stage of our client. So this will be a select property. The options and the different stages of the clients or contacts will of course be up to you depending on your workflow and your business. Next, we have the details of the contacts such as the email which we can choose the email property and also the phone number of our client. There can be plenty of properties for the contacts database but of course, this will depend on your use case or what you want to keep track of of your contacts and your clients. To track the estimated value in dollars, after we select the numbers property, we can go to the table view and hover on any row under the estimated value. And we'll see this button that prompts out. And once we select it, we can choose the currency that you prefer. And lastly, we'll have the title and the company of the contact. For the company, it will be a relation property. So first, we have to create the company database before we can connect these two databases together. So let's go ahead and create this company's database. So again, we will use the table view. And we'll select new database and call it companies. Since we've already created the company's property, let's connect it via the context database. We select the relation property and choose companies. As you can see, once you relate the property from one end of the database, the relation will also appear on the other database. Let's go ahead and redeem this property to clients or contacts. And let's now go ahead and add more properties to a company's database. You can have a description of the company, a select property, we choose the type of company, the location, which we will also use the text property. And lastly, the website of the company, which we will use a URL property. Now that we have created the properties for both the database, we go ahead and add some sample data before we go ahead and create the different views that we want to see on our dashboard. I will also now show you how to relate the contacts or clients to a company. Once we click on a row under the company's column, we will have the options that we have created in the company's database.
these stages, you can click on the three dots here and select the color that you prefer. To show more details of our context on the pipeline view, you can click on the three dots of this database and go to properties and toggle on any properties that you'd like to see by clicking on the eye icon. Beside the name of the stages and status, we can also change the value that we like to calculate. Personally for me, I would like to calculate the estimated value. As you can see, when we enter the estimated value, we automatically update to show the sum of the estimated value of our context in this stage. Next, we'll create another view for the context database. Again, we just copy the link, paste it anywhere on the dashboard to create the link of the database. This will be the view to, for me to see the details of our context, so I will not need the stage property. And I can choose the height in view. And now I will just rearrange some of the properties so that I have a better view of what I want to see. And also, I will be hiding the company body because I will be using the grouping feature to group the context by company. This way, you can choose to use the toggle to show or hide the clients and contacts under the company. And again, if you want to show or hide any properties, just go to the three dots of the database, properties, and you can toggle the eye icon to show or hide any properties that you like. And lastly, I will be creating the table view for the companies. Again, we will paste the link to create the link of the database. We will also be using the table view. I will hide the database title and use the heading to create the title for my database. And again, I will do some re arrangement of how I want the properties to be shown. And we have now built a CIM in Notion. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one.